I think they just wanted to spend more money on season two. Ah, uh, I don't watch Asian <laughs> unless I'm in it or my friends are. Uh, yeah, that's same, it. same. I saw Subi and brother son. But even yeah, when my friends are in it, way. you gotta really beg me to watch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it actually hurts it when you fake like Asian stuff for being Asian, or they just got <laughs> taste. <laughs> What is something that you are you swear people are pretending they like it and they don't actually like it? Mmm. Liberal views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. You think they're you think they're just pretending? Because they ain't really about it. Mm. Oh no. it's easier to are say. Are you inviting homeless people into your house? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah you don't care that much. Yeah, you want other like, people to deal with it for yeah, you. Are you inviting illegal immigrants into your house? Right. You Preach. know what I mean? Like that kind of shit. Yeah, so annoying, girl. Like, are you actually living by your words, or are you just yeah. like it's nice to say you believe in? Because it's very hard to live by your words, especially yeah. if you're yeah. pointing your finger and wagging yeah. at people. You know? Plastic straws. This drives me crazy. Bro, or paper Bro. straws. Paper Bro. straws. When you, when you hand me a cup that's completely plastic, and then I get one little paper straw, oh, and so yeah. the entire product is like 95% plastic and 5%. True. And now your coffee tastes like a cardboard box. Or your f***ing straw melts in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It starts Plastic deteriorating. Or not like destroying the environment, no. Do you think there's... Bring have you out. met anybody that's pretending to like the paper straw? Yes. Really? What do they say? Then, or because there's a next level to it. It's the people who bring their own, like, straw in their bag. Like wow. the metal ones and stuff like that. <laughs> I keep a bag of plastic straws, so when they give me that sh I pull mine out and I open it in front of them and I use it. You know what you should do? Okay. Take the paper straw they gave you, ball it up, put it in your plastic one and go <laughs> 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 No, you know what's cool though? The, the happy medium? Bamboo. I would say that's, that's the happy medium? Well, it's because it's environmental and all that, but I'm assuming. Go out it's compositable. <laughs> It's compositable. Cat turtles still get stuck on those motherfuckers. Yeah, dog. So, but it's yeah. made out of bamboo. Molasses that's, straw? It's, it's, that's what it looks like to me, but it's not made out of molasses. It's like this, um... What the heck? I don't know what material it is, but it's not... Yeah, it's not It's not paper. It's definitely not plastic, but... At this rate, we might as well just, like, increase our suckability from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, it just drives me crazy. Just make a water spout going up. Do you guys really think... You know, stopping plastic straws is actually gonna do something? Like, yeah. do people really believe? Bro, no, it's, you, a, it's another virtue signaling, but, we're pretending to fix the problem with the, these straws. The, e the ego inflation that these people got that the world actually made a change is pretty fucking big. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the original people that said that we shouldn't use plastic and they actually conformed, that bragging right, honestly, you gotta miss pretty strong. Yeah. If you were the one who first they said that. Know. Like the world changed for your pissed offness. It's the perfect time. Just walking down the street yeah. looking at everybody. And now everyone is really having issues like. with their paper straws. Is there a food you think people pretend to like and they don't actually? Fine dining. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 When people claim they are like a massive foodie, right? Yeah. And then they go to these places, they burn money. And they're starving. Yeah, but in reality, I don't think a foodie does that. Like a, a foodie is someone who really does everything. Yeah. And they like the highs and the lows and everything. Yeah, that's yeah. true. They probably have a more uh, ex expensive yeah, palette. Don't, yeah, that to me is more like, it's kind of snobbery. Mm. It's just, you're just doing that thing because it's high, it's high, it's high level shit. Mm. Like it's expensive and it's almost yeah. like someone that's like buying all like luxury goods, right? But then like the real, real luxury is like the shit that you gotta get invite only that normie, normies can't even get, but like we don't even know the name of the brand because it's too like billionaire level. But then like, you know, that's kind of, I kind of see it as like, you're trying to be pretentious and rich, but you're really not that rich. Yeah, I guess, I guess the class connotation is what they're really like. Yeah, yeah, they're like, they want to be associated with that world. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm like, you ain't a foodie dude. That's true. Yeah. There is that. Uh, is there a, is there a martial art people pretend to like they don't actually like it? Oh, dude. Fucking I No, nah, you know what though? I just feel like for martial arts is different because I feel like you can a lot of people convince themselves of doing it you know, for whatever reason. Like for instance, like kung fu, right? It's like I'm sure there's people that are doing it. Not they think it's like for self defense, maybe, but in reality, it's like yeah, they fucking like it. We may all think it's outdated, but in reality, it's like 
It's That's what they like to do. It's not right? gonna work. It's guys with ponytails. <laughs> it's always guys with ponytails doing kung fu or like Aikido and they're trying to challenge people and shit, you know? Yep. But I think it's just in their mind, it's like, yeah, this is my shit. This is what I like to do. But Fat like guys in ponytails love ninjutsu. They love that shit. Because it is the cool, like on paper, it does sound the coolest. And, and it's one of the ones that you can lie about how good you are, but exactly. you just can't show anyone because it's ninja shit. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's sorry, I only show people shit. in the shroud in this darkness. No, it's I'm, always. I'm going to say this. Always. Go. Pizza Hut. Pizza. You think people are faking that they love I that? love that shit. Mm -hmm. Wait, pizza look, at this, hut? Look, look at this. Wait, pizza or Pizza Hut? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. <laughs> Why are you taking a fucking smoke break in the middle of that? Pizza Hut? Pizza Hut. It's fucking work, bomb, dude. I used to work for them. But it's fucking But I like bomb. Pizza Hut more than Domino's. Wait, so you think people don't actually like it? What's the- what do they have to gain by faking it? Like this guy doesn't know. He doesn't know. Out of all the- Part, I used to work pizza. for Pizza Hut. Yeah, Bart. but what does that gotta do with- Okay, let me tell you something, okay? Yeah, dude, yes. I gotta tell you- yes. Bring it. Fridays? is pizza party days over at the Quan house. <laughs> Every single Friday, Taika picks a new pizza place wow. and then we watch a movie. Cute. We went through all of them. Domino's, Pizza Hut. Pizza but, Rock's the best. Papa John, the Mama Chop, some Mama Pop pizza ones. Yeah. Out of the chain, Pizza Hut is hands down it the was? best. Yeah, I hands know. down, yeah. I, I haven't had Pizza Hut in a really long time. Well, you can eat it like authentic yeah. pizza places too? Oh no, no, I mean like, I just, just chains, just chains. Okay, I was like... So, so you, think, you, think, you, think, you think you think he's faking? I didn't get round table. No, but like the no, main no I don't think he's faking. I think he's, I think he's serious right now. You gotta get the pan or the deep dish. Yeah, the original pan? Oh, and then it's like a crispy <laughs> on the good. outside. Okay. All right, it's good. like a blanket in the middle. And you said, oh, so and you so said uh, Taika's favorite also is Pizza Hut? <clears throat> that motherfucker tripping. He likes Papa there John's. That shit's soggy as fuck. But then maybe, do you think, <laughs> a, do you think a part of why you like Pizza Hut? The nostalgia? No, no, honestly, I think why he likes Papa John's is just the name. Because every time he hears the word Papa John's, he starts laughing. He's like, I want Papa John's. I'm like, Papa John's tastes like shit. And he goes, nah, Papa John's. And like, you get the pizza and the bread's wet. Like it's gonna fall apart and shit. I'm like, yeah, it's like a wet burrito. That's okay. the best part. It's Hands the down, <laughs> Pizza Hut is the best out of the chain. Maybe, maybe that's why he thinks it's so funny to go, ooh, come to Papa. <laughs> <laughs> or any pizza that's like a New York pizza he fucking loves. <laughs> <laughs> if oh, says, uh, teenage Mutant Ninja. Yeah, this is like Rocco's oh. New York. Oh, this is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the good stuff. I'm like, I don't even know Rocco's from New York, dude. It just says New York pizza. <laughs> Yo, man, we gotta give him some Detroit pizza. That's the shit yeah, right there. Yeah. Is it? Why? Detroit style is my favorite. How come? Because it's like Pizza Hut style. It's like yeah, crispy one. on the outside mm. and inside it's like a fluffy warm blanket out of a dryer. Damn. Damn. If you ate a Pizza Hut in Detroit you'd probably come your brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit? What else? Hey, the, what salt else are some and things? I think people pretend to hot like take. That. Hot oh. take. Hey, that's fucking really? hot. Really? Hey, hey, that's funny salt as fuck, strong? dude. <laughs> that's <laughs> really funny. Salt strong. I, 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 I believe that. Like, who's no, getting I lavender? Fucking like <laughs> blue. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, this is so good. Delicious. It's like, yeah. All right, bitch. Yeah. I've had Rocky Road. <laughs> yeah. Rocky Road. Yeah. Rocky Road. Yeah. If you go there, people you're people definitely the most go. Yeah. Flavors. Okay. That does happen. I see people do that just because it's different and new. Like when they add another new thing, people flock to that shit and they just they literally jack each other off. Like, oh, it's so good. It's you know how many times yeah. I've walked into Salt and Straw with the intention of getting ice cream? And I love ice cream. I love I, it. And I walk right out with nothing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because the flavors are so obscure. The, the really? coffee one. The coffee. I only get the coffee one. That's the only. Yeah, one. I get the I like regular the shit too. I get the regular, regular shit. shit. It's yeah. fine, but nobody's getting that. But I, 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 went to yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about that. Fact. I went to That's Salt and Straw like over ten times, but I never left thinking. Damn! I gotta get that shit yeah. again! But when I go to Baskin, I'm like, let's go back to Oh, tomorrow, dude, Jamo Kamen Fudge for life. Oh, come on. Jamo Kamen Fudge? Ooh! Chocolate Malted Crunch. Those are my two favorite. Oh, no, no, the Chocolate Malted Crunch is from fucking Rite Aid. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, okay. Thrifty. How about this one? Who's favorite? Erwan. Oh, what is, facts. What is that? Oh, Erwan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It's the super it's a, expensive yeah. grocery, uh, store. grocery store. The bougiest of all yeah. grocery stores. More than I was the yeah. most like yeah. organized, pristine it was grocery very store. So but it's so overly expensive. Like a normal water that would cost maybe a few dollars costs like eight dollars. Sometimes seventeen dollars, bro. Seventeen dollars for a bottle. But I did walk in. Ninety nine ranch, bro. Okay, look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, my friend took. He's like, yo, let's just grab a quick coffee, quick water, quick water. I was like, yeah, let's go. Hurry up. 
We go to Orwan. I was like, I had no idea what the fuck this was. I was like, there's hella people outside though. I was like, yo, what is this place? Anyways, water, coffee, bottled water, coffee. Come out twenty one dollars and eighty five cents. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. 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 The fuck? What up, guys? Thank you for watching us for so long. If you like what we do, please support our Patreon. Joe, tell them what we have to offer. So, every week, you get two videos. One, never released director's cut, and another one, too hot for YouTube. Patreon only. Every freaking week, you get that, and you get access to our Discord, where you can come chat with us. And ask us questions that become episodes here, because we're going to answer them, and we're going to take it seriously, and we want to give you the responses that you want. So come stay connected with us, join our Patreon, click the description below for full details. That's 20-piece chicken nugget. Dude, I bought, a, I bought one slice of uh, chocolate cake, because I was like, this looks really good. It's kind of small, but it's... It's twelve dollars, and I ate it, and I was like, "Was it good?" It was good, but I was like, "Not for twelve dollars." Rice is gonna hurt, you know. But it's just little things like that. But they did have the chopped fruit, the cut fruit, and I usually get that whenever I go to a supermarket. Let me tell you how pretty their shit was, dude. Like, not a bruise on any of their fruits. I don't know how they. Cut fruit is usually more expensive, regardless. So Erwan there, I'm sure is that's. But how much did you spend on cut fruit? I didn't buy none. Whole night for month. I had their. But nah, that shit was fire though. I'll say, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. There was like a, you know how they make the smoothies? Yeah. But they had this like mango lassi kind of smoothie, but it was like in those glass old school milk jugs. Yeah, those are. So you felt like. It's oh. it's expensive because it's in glass. Right. Yeah. It was really delicious. Did it taste expensive? Their juices are pretty fire. Bro. I like mango lassi. Their juices. You know are you know who I think is faking the shit out of things they like? What? Sneakerheads. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think I as sneakers get so much more expensive, like up the chain, they get so fucking ugly. Yeah. <laughs> but like I think they're prone to saying they like it because someone they look up to likes it. Yes. Mm. And it's so yeah. trendy. I don't think it's about the actual yeah, appearance yeah, of the yeah. sneaker at a point. I think it's the hype. Yeah. It's not, yeah, which of course has common sense, but I think some dudes are really that fucking faking it like super hard. Oh. You wanna hear a hot take? Mm. I think people that are faking it is the body positivity people. Mm. Facts. Yeah, they're like this, uh. right? They go, I love myself the way I am. But then if there was a magical genie that was like, hey, I'll give you whatever body you want. Name any celebrity. They won't go, just keep me the way I am. <laughs> they will, right yeah. off the top of their head, they're gonna go, I wanna look like this. This is what I wanna look like for my wedding. But that's why they get mad at people like Adele when she loses weight. Right, because that was their like, yeah. Yeah. fucking. And they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's like, how are you gonna get mad at somebody for I think, yeah, I, I also believe that it's fake because I think they just figured out like a, the greatest coping mechanism yeah. for it. Yeah. But, it, but they yeah. don't really want to be that. Well, no, I mean, like, if you like, if you did have the choice to instantly not be that, yeah. we would not be a lot of things we are. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? That's true. But it doesn't mean we don't love ourselves. It just means That's like, like hey, would you like choice. to be stronger? I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. without the workout? Fuck yeah. Please. Like, I'm not going to reincarnate and, and hope to God I can keep my psoriasis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That no, doesn't, please, that doesn't, Endo, stay with me. It doesn't mean I hate myself. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the part that I'm it like, gives me my it's identity. okay. Yeah. That's it's who true. I am. Yeah. I don't want no body positivity about my fucking eczema. Yeah. Yeah. You can love yourself still and then be like, hey, this is me, man. Yeah. But yeah. not want it, yeah. People who use nose strips, I think they're fucking faking it. I completely forgot we still had these on. <laughs> they feel good. <laughs> no, they're, they're fucking really sick. Good, nah, I thought. Industry jobs. What you mean by that? Movie industries. I feel like half the people that's doing the job as gaffers, grips, PAs. You think they think, hate their jobs? I think they really hate their job mm -hmm. because they yeah, failed yeah. at being actors or- Oh, those are specific oh. ones though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like being uh, actors and PAs, but they're just like, you know what? I had more opportunity and more money doing gaffing, oh. PAing. I ended up just being stuck to it, which I have experienced it now. They're bitter. But they're bitter when yeah. they see people doing what they really love. They just they. Oh, just... that must be torture. You're like holding a fucking stick like that, and that's you're like, me. I could out act yeah, this or, motherfucker yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or sound. They're yeah, just like, they're like fucker. holding the boom and mm -hmm. shit. And they're like, that's not even his line. He didn't memorize his lines and shit. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a shot. Oh. He records himself. <laughs> I think uh, that's a lot of people that run casting. Yes. Casting that's directors? Yes. Not the directors. Oh. The just the person that's running the casting. Yeah. So the person that's hired to sit there with the camera while you go, the director's not there. 
a lot of the time those are people that are trying to make it and it, it's not that that good for them. Yeah. And they'd be talking like they know it. Because my ex about. used to do that. She was exactly that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And all of her coworkers were failed actresses and they were all uh. like, that's why they're so like mean to people. Mm. Industry people that don't like their jobs. Mm hmm. That's or why they, they complain a lot. That had to go. I also kind of. Oh man. The, um, What's it called? Fucking wardrobe people. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think they're, uh, you know what, and we, this is particularly what I think they specifically fake. They constantly fake how hard their job is. Mm. I think they That's try to like complain about so much shit to make their job look harder than it is. Mm. Wardrobe in the movies? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Movies or TV or anything. Like someone who's in the wardrobe, it's very rare that you will meet a wardrobe lady that's not stressing out visibly. Oh, mm. really? Like yeah. they want you to like Kinda see like their that. stress and they want to completely- They're always pressure. frantic. Yeah, and it's like, this shit isn't harder than what everyone else is doing. We're all like in I think it, it would together. Depend yeah. on like the type of movie, because I think if you're in a time period oh, or like you're no, trying to find something very specific, I would and, hope like, that's where it I is. I feel right. But no, it's A B D C. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, like, oh, it is, oh my god. Like, oh. Yeah, it's like <laughs> they have to cover a logo and they're right. stressing like, out. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, no, you're in the wrong jacket. Why? Why did you do that? And they blame you. <laughs> it's like that it's part. crazy. Yeah, okay. they. You see that a lot. Even for like LMFO music videos, like yeah. the, the wardrobe person wants to keep the job so badly that they need to be noticed that they're having a strenuous time so that it looks like working. she's working hard. Yeah. That's so fun. I saw that That's too many times in life. I'm like, no. Because it's like easily replaceable. Yeah, like for, for a lot of jobs. Like that, a something, lot of jobs yeah. on set are. Absolutely. And that's why when someone solves a problem, they want everyone to know that they solved it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Even if they did it quietly in the, yep. in the corner. They'll be like, hey, you know why that worked? Because I was there last night at 4 a.m. plugging the shit. It's Dude, like, that's bro, so thanks, true. <laughs> I literally witnessed all of that. Yeah, you said. see and hear it all the time, right? You know why? Because they don't get called in for a second job if they don't leave an impression. Yeah, that's true. They'll be like, oh, I remember that guy. He was here at 4 a.m. Yeah. Plugging that which shit. Is cool. <laughs> yeah. Which is cool, but then when it's at the expense of you being bitched at, then I'm like, don't do that. Mm. Don't like, don't like complain to me in front of everybody. Like, don't make me your yeah. B cast character right. in this. Yeah. Mm, but yeah, that's true. I A lot of people it. have shitty, shitty jobs. <laughs> EMTs too, bro. Bro, EMTs. They don't that's be? A tough They're job, faking bro. what? Exactly. I, <laughs> I honestly think they then they, they got into it intent of like fucking. I'm about to be rushing to their aids and all of that but just to find out they're just helping out bums off the street oh, one of your closest friends is emt was in emt yeah. yeah twice didn't he like quit twice i don't know what happened to him twice. <laughs> they get pulled back in dude they try to quit and they get pulled right back no but he said he said he just runs into like crazy and hum homeless people mm. all day every day you know yeah. Mm. You gotta aid them because you just have to. You can't. Oh, here's yeah, here's yeah. another thing that people fake that they like all the time is uh, obscure independent movies. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, yeah. I'm out, dude. The more they don't get it, the more they think it's like fucking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's the funny thing. <laughs> Those, that, that actually really You like it, huh? Love <laughs> every Wes Anderson movie. <laughs> Everyone? <laughs> no, Damn. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Soul Strong, no, now this? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Pretentious oh, artists oh. are my favorite. Yeah. They're my fucking favorite people in the world. It's pretty funny. Because it's like, they think they're so unique, but then they circle jerk with other losers that just, usually they just don't have anything that connects with humans because they're yeah. so god dang stupid. And they make materials that only speak to dumbasses just like them, that no one understands. And then they just want you to relate to their fucking story, but you're just like, you're like a kid that wants everybody to fucking get to know who you are, but you don't know how to communicate your art to everybody else. And I'm just like, you guys are so fun to observe. I think a lot of celebrity brands, like people tend to just gravitate towards them because it's a celebrity brand instead of it actually being a quality brand. Oh, like what, Skims? Sure. Skims, is that a quality? Nah, Skims is kind of fire, bro. Is it? It actually okay, is. Yeah. So it I was actually gonna say, is. like, name if, because I'm not like a big brand person, so maybe I'm just kind of more biased to it. But name like a few celebrity brands that you think is quality product. Quality? Well, think about the Gwyneth Paltrow okay. brand. What's was that one? Goop. Goop. That shit is fucking everywhere. Goop. And it's like, what does she sell to the market that like? It's only for fucking rich folks, right? It's like they're selling candles. It's like scents, but it's like crazy expensive. But I think it's because it's co-signed. So they're they're probably like. I like her, I like what she's about, so I'm just gonna buy it. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. like I, th I think that's the mentality behind it. I don't think yeah. they really care about products. Also, it's like depending on how big you of a celebrity you are, you just have the most expensive team of mm. every department possible. Bro, I'm well, so like your marketing. So many, your marketing like, people, I, when I think about like, yeah. uh, I think of like all the celebrity makeup brands and products, and there's oh, yeah. so <laughs> many of them that are just such trash products, and they're not quality ingredients. Well, that's because they're all AliExpress, like that fucking. Uh, <laughs> You know, they're all just like wholesale shit that they just rebrand as their thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like another company and it's just, they're just the face of it. I don't know about you, these, uh, cookies. but I got a pair, a golden Paris Hilton ladle for six bucks at Ross. <laughs> yeah. So that was a stout. Paris Hilton has ladles? Yeah, she has like a whole like it cooking. A, yeah, it was a whole cooking, like, but it was, it was, what was like bronze. It's probably not real gold. It was $6. But it was, I, I was like this, I gotta get this. I gotta support my girl Paris, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, you wanna know something? Here's a hot one. I think a lot of Asian people pretend to like Asian movies. Mm. Yeah. Asian, Asian American movies? Yeah. Yeah. I think Asian American, like. Oh, of, hell yeah! So a lot of them dude. suck ass. I think we gotta fucking be real, man. Like, some, if, if bad shit comes in all type but of. But the game, I think the game is we support all of it so the next one can get greenlit. So that's the that, yeah. That's but then, the, don't bad things make stuff get red lit? Yeah, maybe. And that's they're, also not, true. they're not really supporting either. They're just saying it. Yeah, but they're not. They're buying not yeah, they're not buying yeah. five more tickets. You know, they're not filling box office seats. Right. Like well, I mean, putting saying. money on it is difficult. Yeah. 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 But that's but that's the thing. Talking about it on Twitter, easy. Yeah. Great night. That's what easy. makes it a fake like to me. It's like yeah. what Tesh was saying. How like. When all the movies that he's making, he's like, if you want to see more Asian people in films, go see the fucking film. Yeah, like even our, our boy June that was here, right? Like brother's yeah. son didn't get a second season. Yeah, and it's yeah, because yeah. all the complaining ass motherfuckers are like, why don't they make more Asian shows? You didn't show up to go watch it. Yeah. So if the numbers don't hit, they're not going to green light another season. Dude, I watched all of it, dude. I believe those funds actually just went to Avatar. Oh. Season two and three. Yeah. We were good. I'm pretty sure we were like, I mean, we had probable cause to be for season two yeah but they said avatar was out of budget oh they went over budget. so they like pivoted the so cost i like... honestly think they pivoted to is it the two. same what what's the relation between avatar and, and uh same production same company? Yeah. netflix netflix they're all under netflix oh. yeah but netflix isn't the one they're not I producing thought... it yeah right who's the production like Cause Netflix is the that it ends up on Netflix. Distri but, they're the distributor. Yeah. I they, thought they, they also are. produce no, they stuff do. too. They do produce. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Netflix that Doesn't funds net, everything. They the, own they, it. They produce both of those. It's an original. Yeah, it's oh. Netflix original. Oh, I thought it was like acquired. Oh, okay. Dang. Brother Son was a Netflix produced. Oh, so you think Netflix didn't have enough money for more than one Asian centric? Uh, I think they just wanted to spend more money on the season two. Ah, uh, I don't watch Asian shit unless I'm in it or my friends are. Uh, yeah. Same, it. same. I saw Subi and Brother Son. But even yeah, when my friends are in it, you got to really beg me to watch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it actually hurts it when you fake like Asian stuff for being Asian. I, know. I think that hurts it. Yeah. Yeah. Or they just got shit taste. Because <laughs> they keep eating. Most of them, most yeah. of them got shit taste, dude. Yeah.